What's going on everyone? It's Greg back with some more Moonlight Sculptor and today I want to kind of go over and talk about floor 50 and floor 60 of the Merkin Tower as a mage. Now unfortunately while I did record my floor 65 run I thought I had recorded my floor 60 and 50 run but it doesn't look like I did so I did want to just go ahead and make a quick video to cover some basics that will help you as a mage and these tips might help some other folks as well but I am a mage so I'm kind of gearing this toward other mages now I will say let me preface this and I'm probably gonna say this in a lot of videos where I talk about mage stuff I am not a fan of using plate armor on mages I understand that seems to be the big thing I, I've seen some Korean mages watch some streams and stuff where you know they're using plate armor at you know level 300 but I'm just not a fan of that like if I'm gonna be a mage I want to be a mage that's gonna make me more squishy okay you know it is what it is now there might get some point where I need for at least PvE content to be able to put on uh, plated gear to fight mobs and stuff but I'm gonna try it and make every attempt to avoid that my tier 4 gear I am making the mage gear I do not want to give up my buff and I just don't you know there, there's so much good stuff about the mage gear like what's the point of having a mage if we can't wear the mage gear so that's what I'm going for I don't know if it's the right decision but at least you know when you're watching my videos you know that I am going mage and if I ever pull on put on a piece of plated armor I will let you know so question is floor 50 and floor 60 how do you beat them as a mage so let's start with floor 50 Harvey Harvey hits really, really, really hard, and the overall strategy is to kite and get as many hits as you can. Kite, get as many hits as you can. Now, the other issue we have as a mage, we don't have any kind of crit increase. We can only get natural, you know, crit increases on our gear. Um, so, as of right now, and I mean, you get a little bit from intelligence as well. As of right now, uh, I'm sitting at 26.46%. I was not at this number or these numbers when I did those floors. Of course, I didn't get my tier 4 weapon until floor 65. So I was using a tier 3 weapon. Now, at that point on floor 50, I believe I was at like a plus 13. And when I beat floor 60, I was at like maybe a plus 15 or so. So what are the things you need as a mage to do these floors? First and, first and foremost, you need sculptures. Um... Our sculptures are very important. You need to get your max HP sculpture. You need those as purple. Attack speed is going to help. You know, an increase in attack definitely helps. Attack range. Uh, I use this more or less for raids, um, so I can stay outside of that circle. Um, but it still helps overall. I mean, you can get like an extra hit in on those bosses while they're running towards you. Um, and then the last slot here, I usually switch between the, my different, you know, boosts such as gold or crafting success and things like that. And then on my sculptures outside, I have my Sea Serpent right now, which is max HP plus 600. Uh, I need to work on a better version of this for outside. I have my Magic Attack uh, Sculpture of Endless Knowledge. I have the Angel Wing Sculpture for Physical Defense and a little bit of HP from the Constitution. And then I got lucky on one of my raids and pulled this dragon sculpture for easy, you know, 170 attack. But, you, you know, eventually I'm going to have to replace that. So physical defense, you know, we need. But I've only got it from stat increases and things like that. I'm not focusing on the plate armor. If you want to do that, that's fine. By all means, go ahead. But I'm trying to avoid that. Now, another thing is I also put some points into charisma. I probably put a few too many. Um, but right now, my main pets I am using are the basilisk and my king wormy wormy of course does the 15 percent defense decrease on your target so you can do a little bit more damage and then the basilisk is used for tanking and he can uh taunt for seven seconds so that helps in the uh, tower and it might actually help to have multiple i'm assuming you can have multiple i haven't really tried it but it'll help to have multiple of these because um, when they do die, you can hurry up and pull another one out. Whereas you have to usually wait until they recover. So yeah, my strategy with the pets are, you know, I'll usually go in with Wormy, do as much of an attack as I can. When Wormy dies off, I pull out Basilisk or I just switch at some point 
to help like get a couple hits on to be able to get some extra hits on the boss while they're focused on the um pet so you know they're attacking the basilisk then i can get some extra hits in now the other thing we need to talk about are buffs and i will tell you what's helped me a lot what's helped me a lot and most of you will not be able to get this if you didn't have it already is the brilliant versus grace i have only really used these for the Merkham tower you can attack speed increase by 50 percent honestly that helped me get through floor 50 60 and 65. Uh, I probably would not have done it without it, or it just would have took a lot more attempts. So that's very helpful. You also want to use your 30% attack speed, move speed, increase, advanced, and rage elixir. And you want to make sure you have some pots out there for your pet. Which I think I'm out of the ones you can buy from the shop. These I've been collecting from the dungeon. But you want to just get the ones you can buy from the shop. And that'll help let them survive a little bit longer. They're still going to end up dying off. But get your extra hit or two in. So to finish up on Harvey, the key things you need to know is he can do that massive crit. So you need that HP boost from the sculptures. On floor 50, I had 10,300 HP. I was level 179 when I did it. Uh, I don't think there's any other details I can give you from there. Uh, one other thing you want to do is make sure you're using food that is appropriate for mages, such as some fried chicken with some 10% intelligence, or better yet, I'm always buying up salmon from the exchange whenever I can because you want to make this uh, salmon steak which gives you an increase of 100% of your intelligence as attack for 40 minutes. And if you make the blue one, it increases it to 60 minutes. So those are helpful as well. Plus you get some intelligence from there. So definitely the best, pretty much I think these are the best uh, attack boosts you can get from food on a mage. So sometimes I'll throw those on in raids, uh, but normally I kind of save them for special occasions and I'll use like the uh, fried chicken on raids and stuff. Um, Harvey, again, like you just have to watch out for the crit and you, you're going to have to kite him and move and keep on the move and it helps to have the pets. I will say I did struggle with it. I ended up having to switch over to my phone, um, but I lost to Harvey about probably 15 or 16 times before I finally beat him. So it was easiest to do it on my phone. I could move around a little bit easier um it's definitely harder to move around on the emulator so hopefully some of those tips there will help you again a lot of that actually applies to both so let me move on to floor 60. so on floor 60 you fight the little cockroach looking thing and the key thing with him is he spits out poison so if you get poisoned you you want to you're gonna have to run and the problem is then you're waiting for the poison to run off so i recommend that if you're gonna do when you do floor 60 you want to go in with um some potions for poison which are these you buy them from the npc in a bunch of different places usually general goods has it but cures poison is the antidote um what i did was i had that on my hot bar and unfortunately, you know, stuff like that doesn't trigger automatically. You can't put that on auto, but um, it's not too bad because usually what happens is you can see his little animation when he's going to do poison and maybe you just use a couple rounds. You don't don't buff up for a couple attempts so you can see kind of see how he behaves and maybe just run around and watch it to understand his um, animation and stuff. I can recommend it on any level. Like if you don't know how you're going to do, you're getting on something hard. Just go ahead and go in without any buffs and stuff. That way you're not wasting any potions and see how it is so you know the, the other thing you have to look out for is he does have a hard hit uh, and he has a hit that can stun you the stun one you're really not going to avoid it too often so i really wouldn't worry about it you want to make sure you have a good amount of hp so you can take take a hit and you know your defense as high as possible but from what i've noticed he doesn't hit quite as hard as harvey so he's a little bit easier i do think i had like a little bit more hp and like i said my weapon was a little stronger um, but my time did run up to the last few seconds in terms of beating him. And I think at the time I had a plus 15 weapon. Uh, and that was my tier three that I got from the shop. So again, I am a light spender, you know, I'm not a whale by any means, but I, I want to say I might've also made my ring by that point, my tier four ring. So, you know, all those little bits help, but it's definitely doable. The pet is actually really good for floor 60 it probably would be a little bit more than harvey um on floor 60 i definitely use my basilisk more to tank some hits from the boss 
and that way I can get some hits in from further out. Another good thing with mages is our stun attack. So you want to make sure your chain lightning, your chain lightning is your first thing. And on the bosses, sometimes if you're running, try to time it where you're waiting on that to cool down. Then you can turn around and attack as soon as that's cooled down. And if you're lucky, you're going to get the stun and get you a few extra attacks in. Um, you also want to make sure you're using your heavy attack because it does some burning damage, the meteor storm. But you're only going to get that off two times per run, which also is a good point. You need to make sure you wait until that is fully cooled down before you go in. What I tried to do was trigger that first on every attempt. And then about, you know, two more minutes in, you can trigger it again. And I think actually there's enough time to get in a third. So as long as you trigger it in the beginning, you can get it off three times. Again, does some burning damage, does a little bit of knockback sometimes. So very helpful to do that. Make sure you're running your buff. Now you might, um, I mean, the buff lasts, I believe, four minutes. So you, you don't necessarily need to worry about buffing again while you're in there. You just go ahead and do it once at the beginning of the fight. And that way you get a little extra damage on your elemental attacks. So... There's nothing else specific that the bosses do. They are both pretty much a kite and attack type situation. Unfortunately, if you don't have the gear, you might have to wait until you can gear up, which is kind of an oxymoron because you're trying to get the floor 65 to get your weapon. Um, like I said, I, I, you know, I got my weapon up to like plus 15, I believe. And then I got my weapon from floor 65. I transferred over the enchantment and then went up from there. And I've gotten pretty lucky now, so I got a, I got a plus 18 uh, tier 4 weapon. Uh, I have not tried to push too much more into Merkham yet. And like I said, I'm recording this video like after I've done floor 65. So I'm going to post this first. This will kind of give you a little bit of overview of floor 50 and 60. I'm sorry I didn't have any footage, but it is what it is. And then on uh, floor 65, I do have my footage. I'm going to go ahead and get that ready. And that'll be out a day or two after this. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry again I didn't have footage. I hope I gave you some decent information that will help you in beating those floors if you're a mage or even certain other classes. Some of that information definitely still applies. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments. I don't mind having some discussions about this down there. And if you can, throw a like on the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will catch you guys in the next one.